Hello everyone, this is Roland from Eatland. Just wanted to show you something. When we do uh, an enclosure legend like this, this is typically generated automatically. And as you know, it actually comes here from the model view. And the model view has a specific template. In this particular case here, it's the backplate. And it all refers back to this one macro here that actually has specific um, uh, ways to show the model view and this is where you also define in this macro project or macro page macro sorry inside a macro project you can do this you define how and what you want to see here for the uh, specific model view now if you prefer a different view uh, let's say here you would prefer hidden lines like this and this would create a different style of, of graphic and this might be you know what you prefer you may have to change also, in this case, if you use this graphic here, you may have to change the uh, item labeling because if you put the item labeling dead center like this may not necessarily work. If you take them, you know, from a different kind of standard, whatever that you created, then these labels will show up so that you can actually read them. Now, this is all nice and dandy. But I always come back to the same case that now I have too many elements in this page and I have here the legend that somewhat uh, blows outside. So what I'm going to do is manually very quickly just get rid of these um, legends. So I will just delete them because this is how they were generated automatically. I don't want them here. I want them on a separate page. So maybe this will actually give me a little bit of you know extra space to do some uh, repositioning of this and now the one thing I have to register is what is the name of this view now it's called view number 10 so what I'm doing now is just generating an enclosure legend manually here so you go in the report section you simply go here you say I want to generate a page I want to manually select it and it's going to be an enclosure legend and here you just pick out of all these available model views which one you want to use here we go and from that point on you just pick whichever you know report you want to use you can browse you can use a different report if you wish to it's really up to you you know to choose uh, the perfect uh, form or whatever and once you have that particular form uh, you just select the form and might be different from the one that you were using up to now, could be the same. Uh, and all you do is you just hit generate. It's gonna ask you where to put it. I'm gonna put it exactly in the same section just behind that particular uh, panel here and it generates the pages. And you can see it just split at this and generated X number of pages. So here I have the legend that is now listening on four different pages that are added to the previous one and the form that you see here is exactly the form that I chose so I no longer see it on this page here I see it on following pages and it's done so this is how to generate manually an enclosure legend when it does no longer fit on the automatic generated pages very simple solution um, if you like please subscribe down below and you'll get the next videos I'll be creating soon. And if you like it and it was helpful, put a small like in there and uh, we'll be back soon with some new videos. You can put in the comments also, if you want, of this video, some uh, ideas or suggestions of things you'd like to see. And who knows, maybe we'll find the time to create those videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.